So I got the fucking job. I mean, check, check this, check these fucking digs out, man. I think these silver reflective stripes really bring out my eyes. What do you think? Yeah. Well, I mean, all I had to do was put in an application, go through a background check. I got all this fucking free shit. Like, I got this vest you've already seen. Pretty sweet, right? I got this uh, sweet ass whistle on this cool little necklace. Check this shit out. Cool, huh? I gotta do that to kids all day. And then I got this, this sweet ass bag. Marcus, I'm trying to make a video! Don't believe her. My name's not Marcus. It's Lucky. Ooh, no hats in school. Fuck you, I'm on the playground. Dumb. Whatever. So, yeah, I think it's pretty sweet. Today was my first day. I just, you know, stood around. These kids are fucking animals, man. I was watching this one kid named. I guess his name is Ben, because I heard everyone going, Ben, stop! This big ass, fat, fucking white kid named Ben. And he's just being a total dick to this fat Asian kid. Like, he's up in his face yelling at him. And, like, I thought it was pretty funny, but then, like, the Asian kid started crying. I was like, what the fuck? So I walked over and I said, Get over here now! And he walked over and I was like, what are you doing? He's like, well, that kid called me fat. And I was like, you are fat. And if you have a problem with it, stop eating so much. And the kid looked at me like, like, how, I, how did you say, and I said, if you come near that Asian kid one more time, I'm going to make your life not worth living. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I pulled him real close and I said, listen, if you even come close to that Asian kid one more time, his squinty eyes and his laughter will be the last thing you hear and see before your life fades into the darkness. And I was just going to tell him I was just kidding, right? But... I was interrupted by the sound of him pissing in his pants. So, you know, I, I let the kid down. He just sat there, and, like, with his big, dull eyes looking at me, you know. What was, what was I supposed to say, you know? I just told him, you know, if you ever tell anyone about this, I'll fucking kill you. So, yeah, I, the teacher came, and I told him she had, he had a little accident, you know, and uh, I needed to get a new change of clothes. Sent him on his way. I figured that worked, considering I still have a job, but he deserved it. You guys might be thinking, you are a dick. How could you say that to a little kid? This kid wasn't just a little fucking kid. This kid was a maniacal bastard, and he got everything he deserved. I mean, if you would have saw that Asian kid crying while he's standing up in his face yelling at him, he would have done the same thing. I restrained myself. I would pick that kid up and throw him over the fence. I took it down a notch, and luckily for that kid, I did. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a dick the entire time. Like, I was pretty cool. And they're all, you're cool, man. You're cool. You're the coolest guy I know. And I was all, fuck yeah, I know I'm cool. I don't need to be told by some fifth grader. Whatever. All in all, it was a pretty sweet, sweet adventure. I only work three days a week. I mean, today I had to wake up at 11. That's pretty early. It's, it's a bummer. I'm not going to lie. Worth it. Totally worth it.